Chip and welcome to my YouTube channel where we will be taking you through the steps to start your own washing machine and dryer repair business. In this video we will be covering 10 essential steps to get your business up and running. Step 1. Understanding the basics of the industry. To start a successful repair business it's crucial to have a deep understanding of the industry and the products you will be working on. Take the time to research the different types of washing machines and dryers on the market, including top loading and front loading models, stackable units and compact models. Understand how they work, what components make them run, and the most common issues that arise with these appliances. Find the service manuals for as many machines as you can and learn how to use the diagnostic modes for the different machine models. Many times these manuals can be found secured in the inside of the unit's cabinet. And this brings us to step number two, utilize online resources. In today's digital age, there is a wealth of information available at your fingertips. Take advantage of this by subscribing to YouTube channels like Harper and Knowles Washer and Dryer Repair that specialize in appliance repair. These channels can provide valuable tips and tricks and troubleshooting advice to help you diagnose problems quickly and efficiently. Step three, acquire the necessary tools and equipment. A successful repair repair business requires the right tools for the job. Invest in a good set of nut drivers, screwdrivers, coarse drill, pliers, wrenches, and diagnostic tools. These will be the foundation of your toolkit and will help you tackle any repair job that comes your way. I'll put links below for the tools and supplies you can find in my tool bag. These are affiliate links, but using them won't increase your cost and they help to grow the channel. I tried to find the most reasonable prices while keeping the quality of the tools in mind. Step 40. Build specialized tools. Take your toolkit to the next level by building specialized tools like a washing machine motor tester, dryer motor tester, and pump motor tester. These devices can help you quickly and easily diagnose problems with motors and pumps, saving you time and money. Again, Harper and Knowles' YouTube channel can be a valuable resource for learning how to build these tools. You'll also need an assortment of safety switch bypasses, and we have a video for that. Step five. Stock your tool bag with the essentials and gather additional tools over time. Keep your tool bag well stocked with the essentials and don't be afraid to invest in additional tools as you need them. As your business grows, you may find that you need specialized tools to tackle more complex repairs. These tools that I don't carry with me, but you can find in, in a well-stocked shop toolbox. You'll need a Whirlpool spanner wrench or GE spanner wrench, an assortment of SAE and metric wrenches, and sockets and many other tools that you can acquire over time. I made a video on toolbox organization where you can see all the tools I keep in my shop roll around box. I'll put a link above and in the description below. Step six, create a marketing plan. A solid marketing plan is key to the success of any business. Identify your target audience, whether it be homeowners, apartment dwellers, or commercial business owners and managers, and create a marketing plan that speaks directly to them. Step seven, use online and offline advertising. Use a combination of online and offline advertising, word of mouth promotion, and social media marketing to reach your target audience. I used brochures and flyers with our phone number on tear-off strips at the bottom that I pinned to community bulletin boards and put them out at convenience stores in the area. Hand out business cards to each customer you serve. Make a Facebook page and get your friends and family to share it. Build a web page for your business. A short search will result in many sites that offer this service at reasonable cost. Step 8. Utilize the goodwill of a seasoned professional. Establishing your business can be a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. Utilize the goodwill of a seasoned professional like my mentor, Mr. Harper, to help you get your business off the ground. Having the support of a respected professional in the industry can be a invaluable when starting a new business. Not only can they provide valuable advice and guidance, but they can also help to build credibility and trust with potential customers. In this case, I had the benefit of learning from my mentor, Mr. Harper, which helped to set me apart from the, my competition. Step five, place brochures and flyers at local uh, convenience stores. Brochures and flyers can be a great way to provide potential customers with detailed information about your business, including the services that you offer and the history of the business. By placing brochures in local convenience stores, you can reach a large number of potential customers in your area. Also pin flyers to all the community bulletin boards you can find. Like me, make your flyers with tear-off strips with your phone number at the bottom to make it more convenient for potential customers.
customers. You can also place business cards under glass countertops at stores and restaurants with permission of the owner. Step 10, continuously expand your knowledge, skills, and tools. The washing machine and dryer repair industry is constantly evolving, so it's important to stay up to date with the latest techniques and technology. By continuously expanding your knowledge, skills, and tools, you'll be able to offer the best possible service to your customers and stay competitive in the marketplace. Starting a washing machine and dryer repair business can be a challenging but rewarding endeavor. By following these 10 steps, you can gain the knowledge, skills, and the tools you need to succeed in this industry. With a solid marketing plan, a supportive mentor, and a commitment to continuous learning, you can build a successful business that serves your community for years to come. I will be making more videos expanding on each of these steps, so stay tuned and stay busy. Chip out.